you know, you would think every single big actor or even small actor out there would want to be part of the biggest film franchise and biggest box office draw of all time. And as we recently found out from the guy running Marvel Studios, this isn't actually the case and a bunch of actors always end up turning them down. So Marvel Studios, it makes sense that in the first couple of years when they started up, you know, from Iron Man 1 to The Avengers, a lot of actors did not want to take part. Comic book movies were still seen as something that was below pretty much anybody. And the whole concept of Marvel Studios was even scarier. You know, you don't have your X-Men, you don't have your Spider-Man or your Batman. You're doing Iron Man and Thor and Captain America and the team-up film with a bunch of these characters that might not draw. You fast forward 10 years, and, well, you just look at it and all these characters are now bigger than all the other characters I mentioned. So you would think every single actor out there would want and would be dying to jump on to the chance to be a part of this franchise. Except Kevin Feige recently was in an interview and he talks about this. And it is, of course, linked down below for you guys. But he says this isn't the case. As a matter of fact, they are constantly finding themselves turned down by big actors. He said, it happened the other day with an actor. There's an actor we wanted for something. They came in, you give a big pitch and you can sort of tell they're not into it. I guess I'm a failure. I'll show them. We'll cast somebody even better. So it's just part of it and I don't linger on them is what I usually try to do. I don't think too much about it. Don't strive, move on quickly. And honestly, you know, this is Hollywood. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, you're gonna find yourself turned down. You're gonna find yourself picked up for something. You're gonna find yourself being brought in at the 11th hour as a replacement for the first choice. This has happened plenty of times. It happened with Captain Marvel, um, not Brie Larson herself, but some of the other cast, if you guys go look at that. And this has happened in the MCU multiple times, actually. And you can sort of understand maybe why. And let's just use this as an example. Maybe they met with The Rock recently, which, you know, he teased that he wanted to meet with Kevin Feige. And maybe Kevin Feige was like, hey, why don't you be Beta Ray Bill? And The Rock's like, you want me to wear a horse face? And that was that, right? Maybe The Rock, probably being as big as he is, wants a major role, something that's not going to cause him to wear a prosthetic on his face the entire time. So again, they'll go back to the drawing board at some point, I have no doubt. Again, The Rock is a hypothetical. But then again, there's also the stories out there of Marvel Studios, much like DCEU, when they first get an actor, they really lowball them with their first payment. And then if the movie's a success, they'll bring you back and they'll up in, they'll give you a share of the cut of the box office down the road once you renew a contract. So this is always a possibility because you can never guarantee that the film is gonna be a giant box office draw. Like we know Chris Evans almost got paid nothing for the first Captain America. But then you fast forward to Endgame and well, he was getting paid more than most of the actors combined. So that's just kind of how it goes. So yeah, Marvel Studios and rejection, they go hand in hand.